so fucking angry right now. I'm like, I'm livid how angry I am. I think I'm doing quite well keeping it all in at the moment. Um, I got a comment from somebody yesterday, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, I haven't been able to get on the computer yet to have a look at their channel, but um, the channel now is John's Johnson 7 and he just left a, a shitty comment about how fat I am, which doesn't bother me. Um, I expect it to be honest because I am a bigger girl and, and people always tend to go for fat people or people with disabilities or people with something wrong with them. Um, so it doesn't bother me. I'm Comments about me don't bother me anymore. And then um, somebody defended me, our little princess defended me, so thank you so much for, for trying to stick up for me and it was really, really sweet of you. But um, the guy has then replied to that comment just saying more shit about me about um how i'm destroying the youtube viewing experience with my fat nastiness not being funny why are you watching a fucking makeup video because the video he commented on was the one with the cup song and um the hello kitty review so if you don't if you don't like fat girls don't watch it it's quite easy but um he then went on and insulted Amy. So, I've, I've seen red. If I ever find out who this person is, I will go to prison because I will kill them. I've always said this. I've always said it to Mark. If anybody insults my daughter, then that is it. It is game on. I can look after myself. Mark can look after himself. I don't like it if people insult me or if people insult Mark, but we can take care of ourselves. Imogen is three years old and this arsehole has insulted her. And I'm just, I'm absolutely fuming. I'm so angry right now. And it just, you can probably tell by my voice because my voice is really low. I'm just trying to, really hard to like hold it in. I'm so angry. So, so angry about what he said. Do not insult my child. She has done absolutely nothing wrong. But what I don't understand is where, because he's like, the picture of your child on your channel. I don't have any pictures of Immy on my channel. This is what's weird, but he's put, by the way, the picture of your child on your channel is hideous. Yours is probably the ugliest child we have seen on YouTube, which is nasty anyway. But then he's put, does it suffer from mental retaliation? Which just... <laughs> Because that is disrespectful in two ways. It's disrespectful towards Imogen and it's disrespectful towards anybody who is born with mental illness. And it just... <sighs> so, so mad right now. I've put the photo on my Instagram, but I've also put it on to Facebook and Twitter. So a lot of you have probably already seen the comment. I've had a couple of replies already from Shell and Elaine, but... I'm trying to decide what to do because just getting this person banned from YouTube isn't enough. But I don't know what else I can do because YouTube is quite a difficult channel to connect to. And they do have a lot of negativity on there every day that they have to deal with, which I understand. But I just feel like just banning this person is not enough. I feel like this person should be prosecuted, but I know nothing will happen. So if I can at least get this person banned, I'm going to block him. I was going to reply to the first comment, um, saying something, you know, smart and witty like I normally do, but I didn't get on the computer because Mark's been on it and we've been shopping and stuff. And then the fact that I've now seen this second comment, I don't want to reply to him at all. That's because it will get me banned off YouTube. If I say to him what I want to say, it will get me banned. So I'm just going to not reply. And I'm going to let YouTube deal with it. But I'm just I'm so angry. So, so angry. Hi, baby. I'm going to bounce. Are you going to bounce? So angry. Any of you that out there that are mums or dads 
will know how much your kids mean to you and how much it hurts when somebody says something negative about them but when it's somebody who's hiding behind a computer doesn't know me doesn't know Imogen and are just saying stuff to get a rise it is sick and disgusting and people like that well it's not even people they're trolls trolls like that should not be allowed to live so I'm gonna do everything I can to get this person sorted i've already had one of my male friends say find out where he lives and i'll go and rearrange his face which i thought was very sweet so thank you for that chris um but i'm just i was in such a good mood today and i was gonna do a really good vlog but now i'm just i'm not interested today now that's really really upset me so that'll be it for today's vlog because I'm, I'm not interested now I'm not going to come off YouTube or anything like that. I won't let one sick, twisted bastard stop me from doing something that I enjoy. And doing something that Emmy enjoys. She loves being on camera. But just for today, it's just it's made me really hateful towards the site. So I'm just not going to... But this will just be it today. I'm really sorry, guys. Um, but... I hope you can understand, I'm just not in the mood to do another vlog now. I'm just so... I could actually, I could go and punch a wall. I could go and kill someone right now. If somebody says something nasty to me today or gives me the wrong look today, I could kill them. I'm quite glad that it's Sunday and I'm not going anywhere. And that I'm not going out. Because I'm so... So angry. I don't know if you can tell, by the way, I'm, I'm being... I'm just I'm so angry. Anyway, thank you for all the support that I've received today over this nasty, horrible troll. Um, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so I know I said I wasn't going to do any more videoing for today. But um, I've made a bit of a discovery. Ooh, I press record. So, I discovered that the comment that I thought was about Immy may not have been about Immy. It may have been about the person who commented. Basically, he left a nasty comment, or she, I don't know who it is. Our little princess, who has, I've had on my channel for pretty much my first video, um, defended me, and her profile picture... Well, his profile picture, I think it's a her, um, is of their daughter. So I think the child comment was aimed at her, but regardless who it was aimed at, it's still absolutely disgusting. Of who it was said about, it was still, what was said was absolutely disgusting. So they have now been reported to YouTube, blocked, all the comments have been removed. But it's just, it's pathetic that people are brave enough to sit behind their PC screen, especially people who don't have channels, so you can't judge them sort of thing. But I very much doubt they'd say it in the street to your face. But anyway, I'm eating a chocolate mousse, like a low fat one, because um, Immy decided to open two of them. And I didn't actually want one, but she's got one, I've got the other one. But yeah, I just want to say thank you to... um everybody who has commented um, on like Facebook and I haven't checked Twitter and Instagram but everybody who's commented on Facebook um, I just want to say thank you so much for all your support it does mean the world to me and it means the world to Mark as well um, it's just a shame there's so many shitty people out there so um, just changing the subject, I want to say congratulations to my really good friend JD the Guru. He's just hit 500 subscribers, so woo! Well done, JD. Now you got to help me get to. I want to say thank you so much to everybody who's commented and said nice things. So today is Sunday. Very boring day. Mark's gone to work. I've been to Tesco this morning. Um. Sorry, <laughs> just eating my mousse. Um, 
I forgot to tell you, I'm taking part in the um, the YouTuber challenge thing that Elaine Twelve Jones did or created, and I've been paired with um, a really lovely young lady called Abby, um, and she has challenged me to vlog while I'm out shopping, which I have actually done before, but um, I will do it again, because it's what she wants to see me do, but she wants me to vlog showing her how I buy clothes and makeup and that sort of thing, which I will do, I just don't know when, because I don't tend to go clothes and makeup shopping very often, if I'm honest, um, I'll probably pick up a couple of bits now and then from Superdrug, but I'm not going in my Superdrug anymore, I refuse to go in there after last week, um, but... Clothes wise, I tend to buy online, it's very rare that I go and buy clothes in a shop anymore, so um, what I might do is if I do happen to go to Peterborough or go somewhere, I might not buy any clothes, but I will vlog in the shops and I will like, um, I'll try some stuff on, I won't film myself changing because nobody wants to see that, trust me, but I'll like show you what it looks like when I've got it on and um, that sort of thing, so I um, will do my best, I just don't know when my challenge will be up, because like I said, I don't go shopping very often. Um, I'm going to try and vlog at my pedicure next week though. Not next week, week so, after. Um, today's vlog is going to have some footage from yesterday that I filmed. Um, talking about my Wii Fit board and stuff. So I will put all of that in. Look. Good night, Mum. Good night, baby. Go sleep. No thanks. Hey guys. So I'm just chilling in bed with Emmy. Um, my camera doesn't like the dark, does it? Here's the light. Look. Is that better? Well, oh, camera likes this. This camera hates dark light, it just, um, if there's dark light, it just goes mental and keeps trying to focus and it just can't do it, so. Oh well. Now Amy's bouncing on the bed. Um, we're just, like I said, we're just chilling in bed. <laughs> As you do, like I've got my sheet on and. Watching you on the sheet. So. Um. I'm really hungry, I need to have some tea, but I don't know what to have, because I've, I've kind of already had tea at dinner time. I, I tend to have a hot meal with Mark before he goes to work, um, so I had, I didn't have a big meal, I must say. I had um, two chicken char grills cut up with um, half a bag of basmati rice, you know the microwave bags, I had half a bag of that, and then a little bit of light salad cream all mixed together. I'm absolutely starving and I'm craving pizza so bad. You know, like, really greasy takeaway pizza. And I don't want it because if I eat it, I shall feel ill because my body can't handle too much grease. Um, it used to be able to, but it can't now. Um, and I'm absolutely starving and I'm really, really craving, like, a pepperoni pizza. But, one, I haven't got the money. Two, I don't want to because I... I'm really proud of myself actually because I um, had to fix my Wii Fit board today. Um, it kept saying, like you get ready to do your body tests and it kept saying, please step off me and press A. And it just thought that there was somebody on it all the time. Um, so I went on Google and it said it was quite a common problem. So um, I've actually managed to fix it myself. I had to unscrew it all and adjust some stuff but I've managed to fix it so I'm really proud of myself and it actually works when I first fixed it it was weighing me wrong it was saying that I weighed 13 stone and I was like okay I, I know I don't weigh 13 stone that's a bit um a bit of wishful thinking there so I readjusted it a bit more and it now is measuring as it should but um I'm very excited because I found I've lost seven pounds so woohoo I've lost half a stone so I'm really happy and I haven't really been trying to be honest. I haven't been um, eating loads. I haven't been really eating that bad but um, I have had like, I have had like the odd glass of coke or I've had um, 
the chocolate bar here and there but I haven't been eating loads and loads I've been kind of snacking like yesterday I didn't have a proper meal um well no I did I had dinner that's the light I, there we go um so yeah I kind of um I had what did I have yesterday I had I had egg sandwiches, <laughs> like two bits of bread with my homemade egg mayo in, and some chips, but um, I don't own a fryer. I haven't used a deep fat fryer for years. I use one of them active fry things where you just put in a little bit of oil, but I don't even use oil in it. I use spray oil. Um, so it's basically like oven chips, but they're nicer because they're crispier. Um, so I had those careful I had those with um, my egg sandwiches and then I was snacking the rest of the day like I had some cupcakes I didn't have loads I had like two cupcakes um, I haven't been eating lots I mean the snacks that I've been eating I've been eating the crisps I've been eating have been transformer snacks do you remember them and I got them from farm foods but they're only one and a half points per packet which is awesome so I I've been having like a packet of them a day, which is only a point and a half. Um, Milky Way Crispy Rolls, which are only about two points. And I'm addicted to Milky Way Crispy Rolls. Um, or what else have I had? I've had um, Curly Whirlies. They're two points. That's about it, really. That's all I have in my house. I haven't got any Milky Way Crispy Rolls now. I'm kind of sad. Immy, get down. But I do have curly whirlies and they're two points, like I said. Um, and cake pops. And a cake pop's about two points a cake pop. Like the little ones. Some of the bigger ones are about three. Yeah, I haven't been eating particularly Weight Watchery. <laughs> like I haven't been counting. Amy, you too... No! What are you doing? Smile. Smile. I haven't been eating, like... No, I haven't been doing Weight Watchers. <laughs> Immy! But um, I haven't been eating loads and I've only been drinking diet drinks, which is cool. So it's obviously working. Like I said, I've lost seven pounds and I've not even been exercising. I've just been walking to work every day. I haven't been doing extra exercise. So I'm going to get back into my Just Dance. And now that my board's fixed, I'm going to do more We Fit. And I'm all excited. So yay! I've got so many videos to catch up on today. It's unreal. I've got, I've just got loads. I've got loads of Elaine's vlogs and Lisa's vlogs to watch. I've got um, about four videos, or four new videos from Nikki to watch. Plus I want to catch up on some of her older stuff. I've got, oh my God, there's so many. There's a new one that Zara's put on, which I've got to watch. I've just, ooh. I'm probably going to be here, what time is it now? It's five past two. I'm going to be here all afternoon just catching up on YouTube videos. So, which isn't a problem because I would watch them in bed, but I end up, because I go to bed at like 11 and I have to get up early, I end up falling asleep. So, plus, because, um, like, Elaine and Lisa's vlogs are quite long, they're like mine, um, they take up a lot of my battery. So, it's just like, I'll watch them on the PC, I can watch them better, the quality will be better. But I just never seem to find time to actually do that, so I'm going to do that today. Immy's watching Phineas and Ferb, so I'm going to sit and watch some YouTube videos and catch up and comment and... No! I've got loads of videos, um, not videos, loads of comments that I need to reply to as well. I've just got a YouTube filled day today, which I wasn't going to do, but... I thought, why should I take it out on you guys? It's not your fault. So I'll just... This this bit of hair here is very random, how it's just, like, sticking out. Can you see? It's just like, hello, look at me. That sounds okay. So. Oh, it's Sunday dancing on ice tonight. <gasps> Joe Pasquale's doing it tonight. I'm so excited. I secretly want Joe Pasquale to win, and I know he won't. Not after some of the talent that was in last week. There is no way... The Joe Pasquale will win, but I love Joe Pasquale, so it'll be really, it'll be really exciting to 
to watch him. I've, I've loved Joe Pasquale since I was at school. I really like him. I've seen him live once. I love him. And I love his son as well, Joe, because Joe's in Hollyoaks. I'm just... Oh. I love I love Joe Pasquale. I really love him. So, that'll be interesting tonight. I'm quite glad that Pamela Anderson went last week because I didn't think she was very good. Um, and I found it highly amusing that she went out over Keith Chegwin. I was just like, ha! <laughs> but um, her excuse really annoyed me. I'm sorry if there's any, like, Pam fans out there, but it really annoyed me when she was like, oh, yeah, I slipped over because my, my boobs fell out of my dress. Well, no, they didn't, because if you watch it, she tripped first, and then her dress sort of came down at the end of the routine. I think it did move during the routine, but her boobs didn't fall out, which caused her to trip. She tripped anyway, so... It'll be quite um, interesting to see what happens tonight. I'm a bit gutted that she was with Matt because I really like Matt. And for, the, for him to go out in the first week, I'm really gutted with the whole lineup, to be honest. Because some of the skaters that I used to love watching are gone. I mean, I used to love Frankie. I love Frankie. She used to remind me of Jackie McQueen. It was really funny. But um, she was so feisty. And I think they've got rid of her because Jason's back. Because her and Jason really clash. And Frankie's one of these who speaks her mind. So I think they took her off to bring Jason back. But I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on Dancing on Ice. I absolutely love Dancing on Ice. Tell me your favourite winner as well down below. My favourite winner used to be Ray Quinn. Because I used to be a massive Ray Quinn fan. But now... I liked Hayley as well. But I think Ray was my favourite winner. I wish that, um, I can't remember her real name, but the, the girl who plays Teresa McQueen, I think she should have won last year because she was fantastic. But we'll see what happens this year. The girl who's with Dan this year, the Olympian, she's very good. And um, the lad from, I think he was in Corrie. No, he wasn't. That's Big Brother. I'm getting myself confused. EastEnders, the guy who plays... Um, Thingy Moon. I don't watch East Enders, but apparently he plays uh, something to do with Alfie Moon. Um, he's very good as well, so it'll be interesting to see where those two can go. I'm rambling. Um, I'm going to talk about Celebrity Big Brother really quickly. I've officially fallen in love with Rylan. I love him, and I can understand why Lisa was so passionate about him when he was in X Factor. In X Factor, he really annoyed me because... His performances were really good, and I must admit, when he went out, I didn't watch X Factor anymore, but I did, his performances, like I said in one of my vlogs, were so bad, that you, but you just couldn't stop watching, and they were quite qu cringy to watch, but him as a person, I've been watching him in Big Brother, I really like him, I think he's a genuinely nice person, so it'll be interesting to watch him. Oh dear. Oh dear. Come here. Look at the, <laughs> look at the, come here. Oh, she's run away. She's like brown all around here from the chocolate mousse. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to insert my footage and trim this down a bit. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!